Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today with us in the hot seat we have Sakshi. Now Sakshi says, "How do you tell a loved one that their comments hurt, especially when that loved one is your mom?" Now my mom has this habit of passing comments that hurt. I know that she has the best intentions and she does not realize that it hurts me. She only says it because she expects better of me and wants me to better manage the home, work, relationships, etc. However, I am 35 years old and can manage everything on my own. I think it has impacted me since my childhood and I'm scared of making mistakes. And even now every time I meet my mom, I end up being irritated and we end up fighting. Every time I tell her not to interfere or say anything, it becomes an emotional conversation with my mom and she starts crying. I really want to work on my relationship with my mom and make it a happy interaction. every time we meet i really need your help to figure this out all right sakshi so the best way of thinking about this is to understand and i'm so glad that you've internalized the fact that she only has the best intention in heart for you you know we are not born knowing how to communicate the things that we want for our loved ones so as a result what happens is that we always end up hurting them because we don't know how to say the things in a supportive manner in a positive manner but understanding the intention behind what is being said is key so If someone doesn't know how to do something what we have to do is one show compassion and then educate them and teach them how they should be talking to you now remember this you always educate people on how they should be interacting with you this is okay this is not okay this is how you should be doing this i would appreciate it this way so the next time you are in with your mom without having a fight with her what i would suggest is sit and have a conversation say mom you know last time when this happened you told me this now i know that you did not mean it but this is how i felt is this true right in that way when you are in a peaceful state you start having this conversation it does not become confrontational in nature otherwise what happens it becomes confrontation right she's told you something now you are hurt and you are going to now tell her how this was not okay so obviously emotions are going to be high so you do this when you're having fun you're sitting watching tv with her or you're going out to a mall this is when you have that conversation but importantly you must try and also understand why is it affecting you so much Why is it that you're feeling judged? Why is it that you're feeling insignificant or that you're doing something wrong? The key is that you don't need to justify what you're doing to anybody, right? Very often how parents ask you these questions they say, "Tell me why you did this," right? And in time somebody asks you for a why, it means that now you have to justify yourself. It means that now you have to give a reason for what you did, right? But very often we don't know, you don't have a reason, you don't need a reason. Instead what you should do is you should ask your mom saying, "Okay mama, you find you said that this is not the way that it should be. Tell me what I should be doing instead." Right? If it makes sense, of course I'll do it. If it doesn't make sense, we'll have another discussion about it. But the idea is to keep these kinds of channels open. If you immediately get hurt when someone tells you something, these channels will not be open. If you immediately justifying yourself, that means that instantly in that question itself, it feels that you've done something wrong. Why did you leave the glass out is already an accusation in itself, right? So understanding that why questions technically are accusatory in nature. So the next time she asks you a why question, which is going to force you into, you know, judgment and uh, trying to rationalize it, turn it into a what question. So Why did you leave this glass out? Okay, what should I have done with it instead? So what you've done is you've taken that why question and you've disarmed it by asking her what you should have done. Now, it's completely up to you whether you do it or not after that, right? You are in charge of your actions like you said you're 35 years old. You know what you can do and you can't do. So, you are in control of your actions. The important thing is to teach the person how to talk to you, understand and teach the person what their boundaries are. Like this is just normal stuff. but imagine if she is poking her nose into places where you are not comfortable talking about it maybe in relationships maybe in something else have that conversation with her and say that mom this is where i draw the line you know i'm completely happy talking to you about all of this but this aspect of my life is private i would not want to discuss it with you right she might say no 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 how can this be listen to her peacefully but be firm in your decision If you're not firm in your decision and if you're not drawn that boundary this problem will keep appearing over and over and over again. And like you said every time she says something she's meaning it out of good intention however it is our reaction that is turning it into a fight and then there's no point souring a relationship with your loved ones with your mother just because of a fight about this. So instead spend that time 
teaching each other how to communicate with each other and you will see a big 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 difference in the way this relationship pans out now sakshi i hope this helps you and let me know how or what you're going to be asking your mom next all right if you want to be featured on the next hot seat episode click on the link below and give me a nice juicy description about what you're going through and i'm going to try and answer it here on the habit coach podcast now if you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the ivm network you can listen to us on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcast on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am at ashtin doc on twitter and instagram we have a brand new habit coaching online course quizzes videos and a lot more on the website awesome180.com so check it out now